the scenery. Everybody's heading south. Trying to get ahead of the fall foliage, maybe? I don't know. between a lake and a pond, you can see the bottom in a pond and green stuff grows off the bottom because sunlight can penetrate a pond but it can't penetrate a lake. Now you know the difference between a lake and a pond. And the difference between a brook and a stream, I don't know. I gotta listen to Wait Wait Don't Tell Me to understand the difference between a lake and a pond. There's a little waterfall right there. Water levels are low. We haven't had much rain in the last couple weeks, which in a way is a good thing. Road trip. Wow, beautiful fall foliage reflecting in an Adirondack lake. What's the difference between a lake and a pond? A lake and a pond, I'll tell you in a minute. pulled over at 1 o'clock in the morning on my way home from the sock hop. One of my tail lamps wasn't working. What's this guy doing up on the roof? Oh, taking tourist pictures. I got pulled over by the state police. My right tail lamp wasn't working. Stoplight was working. I said to the guy, I'll fix it as soon as I get home. It's only one o'clock in the morning. He said, I see your volt gauge on the front seat and your stop lamp is working, so I'll cut you a break. And he did. Back on my way in five minutes. And as soon as I got home at 1.15 a.m., I fixed it. I had a spare bulb, a dual filament 1157, but an orange one meant for a clear turn signal lens like on the earlier Corvairs. Anyhow, I fixed it all up, and we're legal again. Road trip in the fall foliage of the Adirondacks. Crazy, huh, the colors? Crazy. Time for a new bridge. There's so many bridges that have to be replaced, or at least repaired infrastructure. Oh, there's a new bridge with water sprinkling on the concrete to help it cure more slowly for added strength. Concrete cures by absorbing moisture from the air. Chemical reaction, it gets hot and it cures. It doesn't dry, it cures. Coco Moonshine, I climbed that with Mrs. CW a couple weeks ago time of the year. We called around to get a hotel room in Vermont last night. $200, $300, $500. $150 is crazy enough. So we just drove home, got home at 1.15 a.m. I guess the state police were looking for drunks. I said, I ain't drunk. Oscar. I didn't have nothing to drink. Not even a sip or a schnapps. Nothing. Beautiful Adirondacks. Bug infested. Not much traffic. High taxes. Not much crime. Beautiful foliage. Pluses and minuses to everything. Some things are good. Some things aren't so good. Beautiful Adirondacks. We're heading to Saratoga Springs to a big three-day car show and we get there and we will arrive at 11 o'clock on Sunday. Had to go to a driver's education update get my insurance lowered. Oh well. What a waste of a beautiful Saturday. More beautiful fall foliage. How do you like those colors? Yep, we got a customer. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Hey, got a customer. 
go tell that to your insurance company. I was going right at the speed limit, 65, 66 miles an hour, and everybody's passing me going 75, and clear, beautiful road. It's a high-speed road like the German Autobahn, but you're not allowed going that fast. Not much traffic here, just the occasional deer or a skunk. They enforce the speed limits pretty close around here. Hardly any traffic. This is actually kind of busy right now. I can see three or four vehicles ahead of me. They enforce the speed limits pretty tough. Go tell it to the judge. Go tell the judge why you're following so closely. Why do people do that? Follow right up close. They don't understand. Leave a distance. Three seconds. This guy's from Nova Scotia. Where the heck is Nova Scotia? I'll have to get there one day. Metallic white. Beautiful car. Lexus. Metallic white. Pearl. Oh, it's beautiful here. We got the cows or the bulls or whatever they are grazing off in the distance. This fog rising off the views. regulated by the government. Highly regulated. Make sure you got a good stockpile of bullets. You'll need them. Yep, highly regulated. Fog rising. What time is it? 9.15. It would have been nice to get an earlier start, but I didn't get to bed until 2 o'clock. Rolling into the fog, look at that. 9 o'clock in the morning and it's still froggy. Always drive with your headlights on, mine are on. One day I'll install a daytime running light relay. Turn on the key, the headlights turn on. You don't want them to turn on, just turn off the switch. Automatic headlights, all cars should have them. It's real good. Never forget to turn your headlights on or off. Roll them through the fog. See, headlights off on that S10 Ranger. Dumb. It's foggy. Another vehicle, no headlights. Barely even see it. Headlights are good. Peak foliage. The Adirondacks. Foggy Adirondacks. in the farm. It's foggy. Out of the fog, into the fog. Out of the fog. At least it's not a forest fire. We don't have too many around here. With all the rain we get, we'll ship some of our rain to California. I'll bring it with when I fly out there with Billy in October. October 21st, we'll be in San Francisco, California. California.
foggy boggy. Oh, that's it. No more fog. We're done. Fog is over.